What's going on guys, it's Iro here, and today I've got another video for you. But first things first, I just wanted to say thanks to the people who subscribed from the last video and the views and the likes and the comments, I really appreciate it. Please be sure to you know like the video if you enjoyed it and leave any feedback down below. But today's video guys is going to be a loadout video. I'm just going to be going over a few loadouts that I think are going to be really good once Vanguard uh, drops and integrates into Warzone. So that's going to be on December 2nd, we're going to have the new map the pacific or caldera and i i think it's really exciting i think right now we're at a good point in the game it's been out for almost a month we're we're getting close to that and i think right now we have a good idea of what good weapons are going to be in warzone so a few of them right now you can actually already use we can already use the stg and we can already use i think it's the m1 grand let me check it out here for you guys so right now we can use the warning track and the bone rattler in warzone you unlock these through the battle pass and you can go ahead and use those in warzone however you'd like uh you can't customize them however so that's kind of a bummer and i believe the martian rifle the m1 grand you can use these two the heirloom and the white obsidian so you can actually already give those a shot in warzone Alright guys, getting into the class setup here, the first gun I have for you guys is the STG-44. I think this thing is going to be absolutely broken when Caldera drops in to Warzone. I think this gun's going to be really good, I think it's going to be really effective at range, and I, maybe even you know up close because even using it in Vanguard, this thing hits like an absolute truck. Somewhat reminds me of the AMAX a little bit, I'm not too sure you guys feel about that, but let's just get into the class setup here. I went ahead and rocked the MX Silencer, which is going to give you sound suppression aggregation to keep you off the map. It's going to keep you, you know, concealed a little bit. It's going to make the enemies have a harder time at finding you. And I think that's just, you know, a, a staple if you're going to be playing in Warzone. Uh, the next attachment here is the Underbarrel. I went for the Hand Stop. And I went for that because it gives you recoil control and accuracy. And accuracy is really important in Vanguard, guys. And that's because you have Shot Bloom. And if you don't know what that is, that means that even if you're shooting, you know, at one position and you fire, that bullet is going to have some level of deviation from exactly where your crosshair is. So, you know, your shots aren't going directly where your crosshair is aiming and, you know, it makes your weapon a little bit less effective, but increasing that uh, accuracy there is going to help with that a little bit. Next, I think ammo type, which is something you're going to have to, you know, go with all of weapons, honestly, is lengthened. Having that plus three bullet velocity is absolutely insane. That means that when you shoot from the time that they shoot, your shot is almost, you know, 100% going to hit them before they hit you. And I think that's going to give, you know, players a huge advantage that are using lengthened over the ones that aren't. You know, maybe you could go with incendiary. I know that one's you know really annoying to get shot with but it lowers your damage range and you know that's not what you're really looking for when it comes to playing warzone next the magazine i don't actually have it unlocked yet but if i did i would be rocking the 8 millimeter kurtz 45 round mag and why i would be rocking that is because you know maybe you're playing quads or trios or something you're going to need a larger mag capacity to really accommodate those fights you know rocking 30 bullets is not going to be enough so if you have it Throw on the 8mm Kurtz 45 round drum, I think that's going to be really good. It doesn't hurt, you know, any damage stat, it just hurts your movement because, you know, you, you have more ammo, more weight on you. Next up here, I went for the taped grip on your grips. The aim stability and weapon swap quickness is really nice. I think the weapon swap quickness is, you know, it's almost like building amped into your weapon, which is really cool. I think that's going to be really useful to not have to waste that on an entire perk, but you can use it as a grip option which is super cool next year i'm going to go over the proficiency kit the kit i went fully loaded because i don't really find any of these other kits useful i mean they could be if you're in certain situations but i think full load is a good one just because it's going to be you know something you can use all the time you know you grab your loadout maybe you don't have max ammo or maybe you do have max ammo and you get your fully loaded so you can drop your teammates that little bit of ammo from you know you're fully loaded proficiency i think vital is the way to go on every weapon in the game i think vital is going to be absolutely broken i think increasing your critical hit area on your enemies 
especially in Warzone, is gonna, you know, get a lot of people upset, you know, especially if you, you know, maybe they have you one shot and they don't have vital on, but, you know, you get a crit hit and then they go down because you got a lucky crit is just, I think that's gonna be really frustrating for a lot of players. So I think this is gonna be the move for your proficiencies here. Uh, stock wise, again, you're going to be shooting at longer distances, longer, you know, ranges. So I want to here and pick the VDD 34S weighted stock. It's going to increase your stability, accuracy, recoil, and flinch. And flinch is a big problem in this game. I think they really need to, you know, tone it down a bit. So that's why I went here with the flinch resistance and the accuracy. Again, you know, it's going to be decreasing your weapon bloom. All right, last thing here is your optic. I went here and just picked the four times. I mean, you can honestly go with whatever you prefer for the optic. Um, I honestly suggest anything above a 2.5 times optic, and I think that's going to be pretty good. You know, a lot of these are variable zoom optics, so maybe you want to go with one of those, but I don't like it because I constantly find myself accidentally zooming in and out, and it's just kind of a hassle. I think here maybe this 2.5 times one could be cool because you also have the, uh, the red dot on top, but who knows. But I think overall the SCG is going to be pretty good. Just going over some of the other parts of the class, uh, I just threw a secondary on here, just a random SMG, you know, you can probably use whatever you want. The next load I'm going over is going to be an SMG, so keep that in mind. But perk wise, I just went ahead and went Ghost, High Alert, and Overkill. I think it's crazy that you can have Ghost and Overkill on this. I'm not 100% certain if once Vanguard releases if the integration is also going to totally integrate the perk, lethal, and tactical system as well. I'm not sure, but you know, who knows. Coming up here, you have the second class, you know, MP40. This gun is absolutely broken in Vanguard. I kind of built this one out as almost like a sniper support, but you can also use a regular SMG. Again, I wanted the Mercury Silencer just to, you know, help with the recoil. The damage range is, you know, down one, but it's an SMG. You're not going to be really shooting at range. I went here with the Carver Grip. That's recoil and hip fire accuracy, so maybe you can get some hip fires in with this one. I think that could be useful. Magazine size is a 64 round drum because, of course, you're going to want to have larger mag capacity. It is going to slow you down a bit, but I think being able to take out multiple targets in war zones is going to be, you know, you know, worth the, the cons of this guy. And then I actually went here and went with subsonic rounds. And I just did that because I think maybe in a close range fight, uh, it, it could be useful just, you know, not pinging up on the mini map or, you know, you're just not visible to enemies and things of that nature. But I mean, honestly, you could probably go incendiary too and still, you know, have a good time. You know, also here, I went with the rear grip, the fabric grip, and I think this is going to speed you up a little bit more. You're going to have your sprint to fire speed, your aim down side speed, your hip fire recoil recovery. So I think those things are going to be top tier. I think that's going to be really good for you know your close range engagements. And again, the proficiency here, you can't go with vital, so I just went with nerves of steel. It's just you know accuracy and recoil while suppressed. So while you're in a close gunfight, you're going to be able to still stay on target. I think that's going to be really useful. Uh, your kit, I went with quick, that's going to give you a lot better sprint speed. So I think, you know, being fast with your SMG and, you know, being able to, you know, cut the corners quick, you know, slide cancel, get all your movement down, this is going to help with that because I'm not rocking lightweight or, you know, tack sprint on my, my perk options. You know, next thing here, I went with remove stock and that's just to increase your hip fire accuracy and your move speed. I think, you know, again, you're going to want to be able to be on the fly if you're using an SMG. And then optic, you can really go with no optic if you want. I went with the slate reflector, but I think this one's pretty good. I, I just like the small sight picture that you get, and you know, it's pretty simple. And I built it out, you know, as a sniper support, so I just threw a sniper on here. But again, same perks, the gammon bomb and the stun grenade. Again, I think ghost, high alert, and overkill are just absolutely insane. You can maybe swap out ghost go with a ninja just so you're quiet so you basically get a built-in deadie and if you're not using high alert maybe you'd use tracker or something else but again i just don't know how these other perks would really work into the mix and of course overkill just so you can get you know that sniper rifle involved i think it's going to be absolutely insane 
you know, using this as a sniper support as a second secondary weapon. Alright guys, and the last weapon here, I'm going with the automaton. I think the automaton is really good because it's got a fast fire rate and it's extremely, extremely accurate. So here, just to you know, add on to the accuracy, I want the Mercury Silencer, the M3 Ready Grip, and the Anastasia Sniper uh, Barrel. I think the barrel is probably one of the main things here because it's going to give you pull velocity, range, and accuracy. Uh, again, that's going to be key when you're playing Warzone, that damage, range, accuracy, your bullet velocity, how quick can you hit a target far away, and you know, still make sure you're hitting follow-up shots. I think this is really good for that. Uh, the M3 Ready Grip, I went with that just because it's going to allow you to ADS a little bit quicker because I think all of the other attachments and the gun alone already has good enough accuracy and recoil control. So I went with this just so you can ADS a little bit faster, you know, maybe get the, your shots down range quicker. Magazine wise, I just went with the 45 rounds. I think the 75 round drum made me feel a little bit too sluggish when I was playing Vanguard. So I went with the 45 here. I think it's, you know, a good in between. Maybe you can go with the 50 rounds, but then you're losing a lot of recoil and accuracy. And I think that one just kind of screws you here. And you're losing your fire rate, which is kind of what I think the Tom Pond is known for. And again, lengthened. I think this is going to be a key on every AR, getting your bullet velocity up. You're going to be able to hit people way faster than they can hit you. And honestly, I think this one's pretty broken, even in multiplayer. Uh, Grip-wise, I went to polymer grip, just so I can get the flinch resistance and accuracy during sustained fire. Because usually I am holding the trigger down on this gun because it is shooting really fast. So I'm just you know spinning as as many rounds downrange as possible. But this allows me to kind of stay on target. Again, fully loaded, don't really need to explain that one again. And then this one has a different set of proficiencies. Why? I don't know. Frenzy, I think health generation after kills is going to be pretty good. I think this would be nuts on SMGs, actually. I think this would allow you to get more, like, you know, double or triple kills just because your HP is going to go right back up and maybe you don't have that time to play. So I think this is going to be pretty good on the, the AR as well. Everything else is just kind of meh. My opinion, except for maybe sleight of hand, the reload quickness could be pretty good. And stock wise, I went with the Empress Broadsword again just because it kind of gives you accuracy recoil and it's also going to give you aim down side speed. So I think that's you know a good place to meet in the middle. Or you could go with the padded stock. Uh, this one's kind of really up to you because again, I think the weapon has enough you know recoil control and accuracy alone. And on the scope here, I just went with a 3.5 times rifle scope. I really haven't tested this out because in Vanguard I'm not using a 3.5 times rifle scope. But you know that's the last setup here. I think this one's going to be really good. The SCG44 is going to be really good. I think pairing this, you know, with MP4 is going to be nuts. And again, perks. I went Ninja High Alert Overkill. Maybe if you get your Ghost Class, you could go with something else, and it could be you know useful in that way. But then I also went with Thermite and a Gas Grenade just to kind of switch it up a little bit, you know. Who knows what's going to be broken in terms of lethal and tacticals. I think we're all happy though that you're not going to have the fucking baby monitor. No one's going to have a baby monitor if they integrate your, your lethal and tacticals in to, uh, to Warzone. But, you know, again, not sure about that. So this is really, you know, all dependent on if they make a full integration with the perk lethal and tactical system versus just making the integration with the weapons. But again, I think the automaton is probably going to be one of the first guns I run into Warzone with. I have it leveled up pretty high. And I think it kind of reminds me of like the M13 before it got nerfed when it was like pretty good. I, I think, you know, having that high fire rate and having that, you know, high accuracy and recoil control is going to be absolutely insane. But, you know, those are the kind of the three uh, loadouts that I would choose going in to, you know, day one of Vanguard. I think, you know, maybe some decent shout outs could be the shotguns because those are absolutely broken right now. Uh, maybe the bar would be pretty good. I think right now you can get it down to a two shot if you have the right attachments in multiplayer, but I'm not 100% on that. Uh, I think maybe the Tommy Gun, the M1928, that's probably going to be pretty good too in Warzone. The Owen Gun, SMG again, be 
pretty good. Uh, LMG wise, maybe the Type 11 or the MG42. I haven't really built those out all the way, so I'm not sure on those either. Marksman rifles, I don't think those have ever really been good, in my opinion. Sniper rifle wise, I expect the Car 98 to be almost on par with the Warzone, or excuse me, the Modern Warfare Car 98, so those will be pretty good in the game. And then melee, don't use the right shield. If you use the right shield, you're a piece of shit. Don't use it. J God should put do not use on <laughs> on the stat sheet. But that's it for me guys. I hope you enjoyed the three loadouts. Please leave anything down in the comments below. Let me know if you enjoyed the video or what you didn't enjoy. And just, you know, please leave a like and subscribe. I really appreciate it guys. Have a good one.